Welcome back YouTube to the next episode of the Pokemon Insurgents so Let's Play. In our last episode, we made it to the Arabes City and the gym inside. Now, I did say I would get to the puzzles at the gym and get to the leader, and then that's where we would continue off. Well, here we are. Now, you might see that we have the Venusaur in our lead. You might be wondering why. Because this gym leader has a very annoying Pokemon that can hit seven times, and when it dropped ASAP. I'm not going to say what the Pokemon is, but yeah. I'm not really going to read this conversation because this is about the fourth time I've done it, because all my audio has, or videos have fucked up lately, and I'm tired of reading this long wall of text. Foot. Mm. Basically, he witnesses Cynthia in a battle and gets her to talk to him about this group of people called the Timeless. And it is because of them that this crystal the otter even had in the first place is there. But apparently this crystal is property of Arceus and he chose seven trainers to guard it. And yet these seven trainers just gave this crystal to some random guides so he could try to destroy the cults in the Torn region. And the only way they could take the crystal is if he loses a battle. With how powerful the crystal is, it shouldn't have been possible. So Persephone and Jaren used his family against him. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then, after they beat him, they sent him to her, his daughter's dream, and then tried to erase the dreams. But he was able to get in touch with Hoopa, who is, is his partner. And sent, Hoopa sent Mew after our character and helped us escape and put us on his path. And then he's saying all these things that are happening, Zenith, the mind control abilities he has, um, just everything going on leads back to this Giratina obsessed cult. Alright, I'm going to turn on the music to get myself and I will be back after the battle hopefully.
and as they say, that is that. I really... Every time I battle him, I come close to losing. Dark Matter is a turn Dark Elemental Hyper Beam. Yeah, you know what that means. Recharge in the next turn. Um, we've been at this for about 16 minutes. What we're gonna do is get out of the Dream Room, um, go heal, well, heal, get out of the Dream Room, then go from there. What else we can really do? Now? Hmm. I have like three parts to this. Sorry, kind of distracted. Alright, we're gonna go heal at the Chanty that is just south of the gym. Okay, um... Who do I want to lead with this? I really don't. What the wonderful thing is, now the level trainer will train me up to level 100. You to level 100, I suppose. He said, behind the gym. Alright, um... Okay, I still got it. Um, I did pick up Dark Pulse off screen. All I had to do was answer five Pokemon tr related trivia questions. One of them was like, what was the name of the Eevee brother that had a Vaporeon in the Eevee episode? Um, then another one was about Pokemon Zeta Um, what level does Dark Raid learn? Dark Void, um, what Pokemon evolves at level 32, and what Pokemon has a base catch rate of, I don't know what the fuck. Alright, we're gonna go east of here. We can't go out that waterfall, but we can come over here. And very random as fuck encounter. Ooh, a pen plop. But, um, I plan to replace, um, Agron and um, Sharpedo. I don't know what for. I'll probably replace Sharpedo with 